friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Today we are doing another magical unboxing. That's right, it's time for another wizarding trunk. And I gotta say, this box has got me very excited. We'll talk about the design and the theme in just a moment. Now, just in case you weren't aware, this video is sponsored by the wizarding trunk, which is always nice. And this box and its contents are not Wizarding World official products, but, Oh, I'm very excited. Look at all these stamps. So if you want to know what is inside this box and what magic awaits, then keep on watching. And hey, if you're brand new to this channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget, you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. There's over 800,000 of us now. This is a bit weird. <laughs> okay, let's get unboxing. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at the box. I've got to say, this is probably one of the most impressive designs I've seen in a while and it's going to be very on theme. This is to represent when the Weasleys sent letters to Vernon and Petunia with all of the stamps from around the world because they didn't know how many stamps to put in the Muggle Post because of course they're used to Owl Post and you certainly don't need stamps for that. So let's have a little browse. There's a lot of owls on here. I love the little squirrel that's very very cute we've got some clown ones we've got a badger a squid oh very cool we've got some trains as well and i think a bat over here very nice let's have a little look at the other side so this is the front and it says i do hope we've put enough stamps on i mean judging by it i would say you've put plenty of stamps on this side it says fragile magical delivery with yet more stamps oh god the back's just just stamps galore. I like the little duck. Not so keen on the spider, if I'm being completely honest. I thought that was a pyramid, but I think it's a block of cheese. <laughs> and then we've got magical posts on that side. So yeah, a pretty, a pretty cool box. Is there anything on the underside? No, there is not. Okay. I'm excited. I'm assuming it's Weasley themed, unless it's like male themed. You guys already know by the title what theme this is, but hey, we're discovering things together. Okay, so this is what we are met with. Let's just take some of the packaging off. Okay, so we've got a wearable, got some other bits and bobs here. Nice packaging, but there's more stamps inside. Molly Weasley went to town, let me tell you. Okay, I'm gonna put this to one side and let's start unboxing. I'm gonna start with the wearable. I feel like that's a nice cheerful place to start. So, here it is. Is it good? Okay, so on the back, the back's actually huge. <laughs> let's start with this. So here is the front crest. This is the Norwegian Dragon Sanctuary, which is quite cool. Got a nice dragon there. And then on the back, we have a similar thing but large there's more dragons there's one two three four five six seven dragons that i can count unless there's any hiding in there um and there's like loads of mountains and stuff so that's cool maybe i can imagine that i'm a donator and a supporter of the norwegian dragon sanctuary trying to trying to keep things good for the dragons so yeah it's a nice gray so it's very wearable which is quite nice i don't think we get too many gray tops these days so that's quite nice what do you guys think of the wearable in this box I'll leave a comment down below but let's go because there are so many things in this box okay let's take a mystery grab okay so this is by oh i think i know what this is <laughs> so here's the box it's very pink and purple it's by widder shins which i think's their joke shop and it does look like there might be some sort of pygmy puff inside it does say cutest creature alive magical pets and it's the same on all sides a lovely box let's open it on up i was expecting pink it is not pink it's Oh, you can get three colors. Does that mean everyone got a different color? Oh my God, look how fluffy it is. <gasps> I gotta say guys, this is 10 out of 10 soft. This is their take on a little pygmy puff. Look at its little face and its little feet and its little ears. It's even got glittery eyes, but I gotta say, I haven't felt something this soft in a long time. That's like, yeah, cutest creature alive, I've got to say. So what do you guys think of this? I think out of all of the three colours, I feel like I wouldn't have minded a pink or a purple one, but this one's nice because I don't have a pygmy puff of this colour. I do have a purple, a dark pink, and a light pink. So welcome to the family, buddy. Welcome to the family. The smallest pygmy puff in my collection so far. But yeah, 
I'm just gonna stick him on my shoulder for the rest of the video. I mean, I would if he stayed. It's kind of cute. A mystery dip. Oh, I think we might have a pin. Yes, we do. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so there was a charm which was set onto Percy's head boy badge, which made it say big head boy, which is so funny. This I've never seen before, but that's a really nice reference and a, a cool thing to have in a box. It's really nice quality. It's got that kind of golden metal effect with uh, a nice, what looks like a sort of transparent enamel but it's red for Gryffindor of course. Very nice size, it's kind of a realistic pin size so that's nice. That's really good, that's really funny, that's tickled me and also this is double clasped as well so if you do want to wear your big head boy pin or stick it on someone it's probably gonna stay on there for a little bit longer with those double clasps but yeah that's so funny. <laughs> Okay, we've got, oh my goodness, okay, so these look like recipe cards, and this says, this is amusing to me because the first one is an orange squash drink. I may have mentioned this on my channel before, but squash over here, not the vegetable, Orange squash is a drink that we're brought up on as little kids. They have all different flavors. You can get orange squash, blackcurrant squash, peach squash, any fruit flavor. And it's like a concentrated fruit drink, which you put like this much in the bottom of a pint glass, and then you fill the rest up with water. And it's a really nice, refreshing, fruity, watery drink. And it's really, really nice. But I thought, I assumed, that this drink would be everywhere in the world, but it's not. America do not know what squash is. I think the closest thing that you might have is Kool-Aid. Don't think I've made my own squash before. So the ingredients are 10 oranges, wow, four cups of cane sugar, four cups of water, one lemon and mint sprigs, which are optional. Okay, okay. So this is like loads of British recipes, right? Maybe these are like Molly's recipes. So there's like orange squash drink, make your own sausage rolls, shepherd's pie now that's a classic my mum makes an epic shepherd's pie i grew up on shepherd's pie i've got it in my veins cauliflower cheese oh another one of my favorites then there's mashed potatoes again probably the my favorite variety of potato and then a treacle tart to finish off these are really nice little recipes especially if you don't have british kind of foods where you're from they're very nice we've got instructions on the back on how to make them i think they're pretty simple recipes i love the design of these cards as well i think that's really nice how many did we get we got one two three four five six so they didn't just give us one recipe they gave us a whole set so I like that. I like the thought behind it. Okay, we've got something squidgy. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. Molly has knitted some mittens. And if I am not mistaken, this is in the pattern of the scarf that she knitted for Fred and George. <laughs> so it's one of my favorite patterns. So the fact that I've got little mitt, oh my God, how good do these go with what I'm wearing right now? It's like, it's like they were made for me. Oh my God, winter is here as well. Autumn's in full swing. All the leaves have turned brown. They're all falling off. It's very cold here in England now. So I'm actually gonna get a lot of wear out of these. These are really nice. And I do love a good mitt. And I think they just look a lot cuter than gloves. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. Oh, I love them. Um, they actually look really well made as well. The knit's really nice and look how neat that is inside as well. Really nice. Oh, this might be my favourite item so far, but we'll talk about favourites once we've got through the rest of the box. Oh my god, something else? Oh no, I thought something else was squishy. It's the bubble wrap. Okay, so I think this is one of their keys that they're doing. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so this is like a full keychain. So we've got a Ministry of Magic key is what it looks like. And then this is the key, apparently, to the Ford Anglia. <laughs> That's so random. It definitely doesn't look like a car key to me. It's very thick. These have got some weight to them, let me tell you. Like, it might be the heaviest thing in the box so far. But 
nice thing to add to my keys, I swear. I've got so many magical keys now, I do not know what to do with them. I like the gold one because it feels a little bit more rustic, a little bit more magical. We've even got some of those brass scales. If you didn't see my last Wizarding Trunk 8, go check it out. And also, they may have put some very lovely brass scales on there. They are on my shelf up there, you can't see them right now. But yeah, so it says M of M, Ministry of Magic. And then we've got some MMs there as well. That's really nice. I think I like that key best. Um, that's probably my least favorite. I do think these might be a little bit too heavy to put on my own personal keys, but as a collectible, if you wanna be like, hey, I've got the key to the Ministry of Magic, here it is, but I can't give it to you because you're a muggle. It's, it's a fun piece for sure. I want to know what's inside this mystery brown box. Mystery brown boxes with no patterning or design on the outside intrigue me the most because there's no spoilers, there's no hints. So before I open it, what do you think this could be? Like, I think it's the right size for a mug, but I guess we will see. Okay, let's see if I was right. It feels heavy enough to be a mug. Are you a mug? It's very well packaged. Oh, I think it's a potion. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, so this is Bruise Remover, and this is one of their uh, Widdershins Joke Shop products. Firstly, obsessed with the luster that they put inside their potions because it's so magical. Like, look at that magique just flowing. Um, so this is the front. This actually reminds me of one of their past potions, which is actually on my Weasley's Wizards Ouija shelf. Let me show you. So this is one that we've seen before, which is their uh, daydream potion. So they kind of go, I love that they've kind of alternated the colors and we've got the different kind of opposite wax seal colors and then the opposite potion colors. I think they go really nicely together. It would have been nice to have another one of these W's on top. So it was kind of like W and W, but that's really cool. That's definitely going onto my Weasley shelf as well. Or maybe it's gonna become my Widdershin shelf. But yeah, I love the design. There is a wizard on there with a bruise. So hey, I'm not gonna lie. I am so prone to bruising that I bruise like a peach. I just came back from America and I've just got bruises everywhere. Couldn't tell you where they're from. I think I just walk into things or something. So this could come in very handy for me. All right, how many things do we have left? We've got one, two big things. And then, you know what? I'm gonna start with the artwork because I want to save the best things till last. I don't know if they'll be the best things, but the physical things. So let's take a look at all of our things. I need to sneeze. Oh God. Excuse me. Okay, so we've got another one of their magical creatures A to Z. I thought we'd finish these for some reason and I thought they were doing potion recipes or something or spells. Um, Reminds me. Either way, we've got G. So this is for ghoul. I've got to say, look how creepy they are. Not a fan of that. And then we've got a gnome. Um, they're probably some of my favorite gnomes. Normally you think of a gnome and like little pointy red hat sitting on a toadstool. The gnomes in the wizarding world are creepy. Not a fan of that, but I am collecting these pages. So I'm gonna pop that to one side and go with my the rest of my collection later. Okay, next up, we've got this. This is a confidential file, um, which is from, that's not the Ministry of Magic, is it? So this could maybe be something from St. Mungo's. It's giving me that kind of hospital vibe. It says confidential, so you don't know who this is for, but the ward says it's for magical bites and infectious attacks. Oh, is this from when Arthur got bit? Is that what it's gonna be? Okay, so the 30th of June, 1997. Oh, 26 years old. Oh, this is so cool. This is so fun. Oh, we've got healer's observations. I'm gonna read this. This feels like a real, like, thing. That's so cool. I really like that. Here, here it is, there you go. You can see it all. Maybe have a little read, a little pause if you like, or at least of the first page. But we've got the 1st of July, the 3rd of July, 16th, 19th, and 20th. Okay, I like that it comes in like a little confidential folder. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna have to make you guys forget or something because it was confidential and now you've seen it. 
Okay, then we've got some artwork. We do still have two full-sized items left, which look really cool. So here is one. This is, I'm assuming, oh, it's the, it's the burrow. It's the burrow's kitchen. I thought it was gonna be like Gryffindor comment room from the colors of it, but no, that is the burrow. We've got a little sweater that's being magically knitted for George. We've got pygmy puffs, brooms, the Weasley clock, which is one of my favorite things. We've got some of the books, their kitchen table. We got a little teapot with sugar cubes. That's really cute. And we got magical recipes down here and some family photos. There's a lot in there. That's really cute. And then the last one is of the burrow. This isn't my favorite artwork, if I'm gonna be completely honest, but out of the two, I think I would definitely choose that one. It's a lot more detailed. This one just feels really simple, but it is of the burrow. I do have a really nice burrow photo. Uh, well, it's a poster in my kitchen with Ford Anglia going over it. So maybe I'm a little bit biased because nothing will compare to my burrow print. There it is, that's the artwork. Let's take a look then, uh, the second items. Oh, spoilers. Okay, let's start with this one. So this says, oh, is this like clock related? So it's got garden, in transit, work, school, mortal peril, or lost at home. This, yeah, look at the top of there. That is very clock. Oh my God. If they have made a replica of the full-sized, like, grandfather clock, I might cry. They have. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, wow. See, this is why I need to start my Weasley shelf. Here it is. Oh my God, that's so cute. We do have the clock face there. It's got like gold painting on all of the things. It's like fully, it's very detailed. It is like someone has shrunk the clock. That's so cool. Oh, I'm gonna have trouble picking my favorite items. That's very cool. What do you guys think? Here's a little bit more detail of the face so that you can see it and all of the little, the little chimey things. I'm sure there's technical terms for those. Um, pendulum doodahs. Oh, I love that. That's excellent. And the box was really cool as well. I think they put a lot of effort into that box design. Okay, last item. Oh, okay. Okay, so this says magical recipes, kitchen witch for all occasions. Um, there's that side as well. Okay, let's open it up. I think this is gonna be a recipe device. Oh, no way. Okay, so this is the inside. Firstly, obsessed with this kitchen pattern. I love how rustic it looks. So it says beverages, appetizers, and entrees. And then inside, not only have they given us six ready-made recipes, they've also given us recipe cards to put our very own recipes inside. And I am very happy about this product because I needed some recipe cards because I have some recipes that I want to keep that I want to write down. Hey mom, if you're watching, I need your recipe to your bread and butter pudding. I need a recipe for your roast dinners and cauliflower cheese. I know that they've given one, but nothing beats your mom's recipe. So yeah, oh, that's so cool. I really like that. So there we have it. That's going straight into my kitchen. That's very thoughtful. I was like, why is this so heavy? I thought the inserts might have been made out of wood, but no, we got given many, many recipe cards. So that's very cool indeed. Now let's take a look at this month's cheat sheet. Okay, so this is the back of the cheat sheet. It's like a little postcard. You can put someone's address on there, but this is the other side. So this theme is everyone's wizarding family, everyone's favorite wizarding family. So number one was the kitchen witch recipe holder, which is here and it says, keep your favorite recipes in one place. We then had the knitted mittens, a pair of mittens to match your scarf. Then we had the garden gnome creature page, which is here. Then we had the set of keys, which are here. It says these keys will get you into your car and work. So these are clearly Arthur's keys. Then we had the dragon sanctuary, sanctuary shirt, which was the Norwegian dragon sanctuary. So this says picked up on your travels to Norway. This shirt was designed for us by Here Be Monsters. Not heard of them before. Then we had the bruise remover. This removes bruises from the skin, particularly caused by magical mischief. We then had the family clock. 
and this displays everybody's location at all times then we had inside the magical home see how many of this box's items are on this print oh okay okay well i spotted the pygmy puff already and the clock and the mittens yes they have hidden all of their stuff inside that's very fun then we had the magical medical chart details the events after a patient's werewolf attack okay uh where was that that was the little chart then we had the big head boy pin this head boy pin has been tampered with <laughs> then we had the garden view print which was the one of the burrow and then last but certainly not least we have the cutest creature alive which color did you receive which color did you guys receive leave a comment down below did you get the purple the pink or the blue i would love to know right let's talk about my favorite items i think the clock the weasley clock is a high contender i also think these cute mittens are a high contender too and what else did i like love i did really like the big head boy badge as well and i'm i mean apparently i just like this box this is definitely going to make it onto my shelf so i think these are my top four products my least favorite is probably some of the artwork just because i never know what to do with it and it's not always to my personal taste but that's fine because artwork is a very personal thing so some of you may love those prints and that's cool but yes these mittens i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this is going on the shelf this is going on the shelf and this is going into my pink collection because it's fantastic but hey you guys know that it's not all about me what do you guys think let's take a quick look at this this haul as a whole. Okay, this is the entire contents of this box. Let me know what your favorite thing was and maybe your least favorite. Leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to check some of those out. I think the theme was hit pretty well with this box. Everything was giving me Weasley vibes. I don't know about you guys. And hey, if you got this far in the video, firstly, thank you very much. Secondly, go and hit that magical thumbs up button just to let me guys know that you got this far. And hey, I might even give five Hogwarts house points to your house. I'm just saying, all you have to do is hit that like button. It takes two seconds and it's free and earns you points. So I'll be sure to reply to some of your comments down below. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my God. I can't cope with these little mittens. They're so cute. <laughs> I love them. Adorable. <laughs>